But the jet pillar is also called, called the Osiris pillar. This pillar has a very fascinating story. There are two stories that talk about the origin of the pillar. The first story is, is the one when Set threw a party and invited Osiris. Osiris was given a very ornate coffin. Set asked Osiris to try out the coffin. When Osiris got into the coffin, Set sealed him up with nails. The coffin was then thrown into the Nile. Isis or Aset then searched for the coffin. The coffin was found by Set and Set became upset and cut the body of Osiris up and threw it into the Nile. The pieces floated all the way to Lebanon. Aset found the pieces and put them together. She found all the parts except for, you know, his stuff, his junk. Aset then cut off her thumb and made a new one. She used this because, uh, to become pregnant with Horus. The, the second story goes like this. However, Set was always jealous of Osiris because he did not command the respect of those on earth or those in the nether world. One day, Set transformed himself into a vicious monster and attacked Osiris, killing him. Set then cut Osiris into pieces and distributed them throughout the length and breadth of Egypt. With Osiris dead, Set became king of Egypt, with his sister Nephthys as his wife. Nephthys, however, felt sorry for her sister Isis, who wept endlessly over her lost husband. Isis, who had great magical powers, decided to find her husband and bring him back to life long enough so that they could have a child. Together with Nephthys, Isis roamed the country, collecting the pieces of her husband's body and reassembling them. Once she completed this task, she breathed the breath of life into his body and resurrected him. They were together again, and Isis became pregnant soon after. Osiris was able to descend into the underworld, where he became the lord of that domain. We have to look at the, at the mystery of the Dejed Pillar. I believe the pillar was a symbol and an energy transmitter. The structure of the Dejed Pillar was similar to modern power plant machinery. Now the cedar tree has a lot to do with that. The coffin that set made Osiris was made of cedar wood. Also, in the other version, Osiris's body was actually merged with a cedar tree. The cedar tree has been used for thousands of years um, in rituals of cleansing and purification. Cedar house, um, it, cedars house important gods and even used as a portal to higher realms. The Hebrew name is Quetar, which means to smudge. And in the Himalayas, the name for the cedar is Debar, Debar, and derives its name from the Debar or timber of the gods. The four levels of the Dejed pillar symbolize the four levels of reality. The first level is from the ground to the mountaintops. The second level is the mountaintops to the clouds. The next is the clouds to space, and the last level is from space to where God lives. The electromagnetic spe spectrum has four levels as well. X-rays, ultraviolet, visible light, and infrared. Humans can only see visible light. Spirits can see all of them. That is why people can't see them, see the spirits. The pillar symbolized the way the serpent taught Eve to gain knowledge of good and evil and become like God. Cedar berries are toxic and sometimes psychedelic. The cedar resin um, ha is able to uh, aid in the growth of, of a thread-like Philia, filaments used by mushrooms. The big red fly agar mushroom will grow right on to the trunk of a big cedar. The Essenes called this tree the tree of life. The Essenes were 
were descended from Egyptian priests that were sent to Judea when the uh, the area was uh, was part of Egypt. The priests were called Dejedi, or keepers of the Dejed pillar. They were the model for the Jedi in Star Wars. After